What's up everybody welcome to my YouTube channel this is Aki Vlogs and I'm super sorry for coming out late with this one all the media bikes were given out for paid promotions to big creators and mai waisa hi video nahi banana chahta tha and go like hey guys go get this bike na na and also having said that thank you so much KTM Marathali for letting me come into your showroom and uh, do this review So the KTM Adventure 390 one of the most awaited bikes for the season to begin with I already love how it looks it's a perfectly sized bike neither is it too tall nor it's too short both tall and short people can ride on the bike is what i feel The one thing that caught my eyes and I'm sure is going to catch yours is the headlights of the bike the borrowed headlights from its elder sibling also the seat is narrow and long but it's not too uncomfortable like the other adventure bikes where it's too hard to tour so the seat height on the bike is slightly on the higher end so when you sit on the bike you already feel dominating and confident and you feel like a king but having said that I'm 57 and uh, I had difficulties planting my feet on the ground and when you're doing an adventure touring or when you're doing adventure uh planting your feet it's pretty important Another thing I like about this bike are its safety measures such as the foldable foot pegs its aggressive design and a good underbelly engine guard which wasn't there on the Duke 2017 but it's pretty necessary also the crash guard will keep the gear levers and the brake levers away from bending so that's pretty important when you have a fall and which is bound to happen in an adventure tour bike So one of the issues I have on my Duke 390 2017 is the engine guard because there isn't one and the stock one doesn't do much. If you see you'll notice some damage on the fins of the radiator which is because of stones or because of flies during high speed runs. But that's changed in the Adventure 390 and that's very necessary and I'm happy they did that. So the bike is also not overloaded with too many electronics. There is a decent amount of it which is necessary like the lighter socket. From that you can charge your phone, you can use it as a lighter socket, you can also use it for your air compressor and whenever you need current I think uh, there are products available right now that you can use that from well the tft is same as the duke 390 2017 and also i love the concept about uh, corner abs because in my duke 390 when i'm taking a corner and if i'm too fast on it and if i press the front brakes my bike straightens up but on this you can press the brake and still continue the curve just like that so where this is an advantage is if i'm going in a gut and i'm taking a sharp turn and i know i'm too fast and i press the brake my bike straightens up and goes outside the lane right so it's pretty dangerous and it's accident prone but the adventure 390 uh, it gives you a nice cornering abs so that beautiful electronics and of course how can we forget about the most taunted part of the ktm the exhaust note <laughs> Exhaust note kaise laga not too impressive right neither was in the bike for me here is why KTM as a company came up with nothing but the best the Duke 200s 390s the 2017 Duke 390s the RCs and well if you see now the 2020 Duke uh, 390 comes with the uh, slipper clutch and uh, auto blipper so they have come up with nothing but the best but on this bike i definitely think they cut corners so one thing is they could have offered accessories because i don't see where a saddle bag will go comfortably i know it's an adventure bike but they know that the market over here is an adventure touring community so they should have made arrangements for that another thing that disappoints me about the bike is the wheels of the bike why are they alloys i am not for sure saying that they should have given tubed spokes but i for a fact have had issues with my 390 alloys one pothole and the wheels bent i am sure they have been tested tortured and abused and then launched but then hamar india ki potholes ke bare mein to kya bole hum wo kuch bhi tod sakta hai Like I said KTM has always exceeded expectations maybe that's why I'm a little disappointed when it came to the Adventure 390 but let's not judge too quick I haven't rode the bike yet I'm getting the bike day after tomorrow so I'll take you guys out please come back on the next video I'll see you guys there if you guys like this video make sure you guys like share subscribe subscribe it's free trust me got to get those numbers up I'll see you guys in the next one peace <laughs> So the KTM Adventure 390